Hey brother, welcome to another day of walking in wisdom. Today this wisdom is not so much for you, but it's for someone you love, your son or your daughter, someone under your care. Here's what it says in Proverbs chapter 13, verse 24. Whoever spares the rod hates his son, but he who loves him is diligent to discipline him. Now this is not saying what a common phrase says, to spare the rod is to spoil the child. That's not a biblical phrase. This says to spare the rod is to hate your son, but we ought to use that rod to discipline him or her so that they walk in the way that God wants them. We tend to think of rod as a, a switch or a cane or, or a belt or some way that we flog children, and that's been much abused in our culture by legalists and also by people who don't believe in scripture to denigrate scripture. But today we want to make sure that we know this word. It's the word discipline. One who loves his child disciplines his child. And why is that discipline necessary? Well, it's because like a shepherd who has a rod, which is a, a, a long stick that he uses, he, he pokes the sheep, he prods the sheep, he even uses it to count the sheep. But he treasures the sheep and he uses his rod to help correct them and keep them on the path, keep them from wandering. And a father who doesn't use this rod of discipline, who never says no, who doesn't have any fences, who knows no boundaries, who doesn't want to displease the emotions of a child, literally is hating that child. And it says in Hebrews chapter 10 that we should not take lightly the discipline of the Lord because he only disciplines those who are his real children. But illegitimate children, those who aren't his, he doesn't discipline. So we ought to also discipline our children for their own good. And why should we do that? Well, it's because they are born foolish. In chapter 22 of Proverbs, it says this of children, that folly is bound up in the heart of a child, but the rod of discipline drives it far from him. Children are nat naturally uninformed. They're uninitiated. They are the, the simple, as described in the Proverbs. And the rod of discipline helps guide them, correct them, keep them from going to the wrong places. And it guides them to that great picture in scripture of the shepherd who leads us to green pastures and along still waters and who comforts us when we need it. So if your child needs discipline, you are loving him or her when you give that discipline. We do it out of a heart of love, not out of a heart of harshness. We do it so that they will be corrected, maybe not make the mistakes we've made, but certainly not make the mistakes that the world is tempting them to make. So today, think about your children. Think about do they need correction in a way that is like a shepherd keeping his sheep together in the fold and helping them walk the right way. Discipline your children in love, and God will guide you today. God bless you.